Yo, 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 my name's Lil Ronaldini, AKA Aaron Chartrand, if you wanna get technical, baby. And I play Juice Box, Jeremy Carter Juice Box Burger. My character is a sassy diva. Well, he's the son of the coach, he's the pitcher on the team, and uh, kind of a hot shot, not gonna lie. He's got a best friend on the team, Jesse. Uh, messy Jesse. Um, they kind of do everything together, they're kind of like conjoined twins kind of thing. You know, he's got some people on the team he's not crazy about, but you know, he's there for his dad because it means a lot to his dad. Been doing it since he was a kid, so it's kind of one of those things you do, you know, those, those shitty bullshit things you do in life because you feel obligated to. <laughs> the cast on this show is like incredible, like, you know, so I'm trying to keep up with them and they're really good, they really inspire me. Um, they get me stoked, they're so funny and so that's, that's the big inspiration for me, like currently in this moment right now. I also really like, uh, <laughs> I really like, I know this isn't an actor, but I really like Young Thug. Uh, I think he's sick, and I'm gonna go to his concert in October, so I'm pretty stoked on that. I've never done something like quite as comedic as this, I guess, on, I think, film and TV wise. So that's kind of cool. I get to reach a little bit outside my box, which is kind of fun, you know? A little bit's fucking scary, though. Am I allowed to swear? A little bit scary um, for the audition because, you know, sometimes uh, you go in and they're picking up what you're putting down and sometimes they're smashing it across the table. Before the on-screen stuff, I did theater for a while. I, I used to live in New York and I went to school there at a school called ADA, American Academy of Dramatic Arts, and I was there for a few years. And so I did plays and stuff like that. That's all we really did. We had an on-camera class, but it wasn't really wasn't the focus so it was just that and then i moved to toronto and and the first stuff i was doing was like little indie films and stuff like that like non-union indie films like little shorts um did a few features and it was really hard because i didn't know what i was doing i just like started doing film i landed this role and I was like, oh, help help me director <laughs> i think i remember being a, a child and, and being like what am i gonna do when i'm older and, and I think I, I, there was a moment where I wanted to be an actor because I saw like a James Bond movie and I was like, oh, whoa, cool. I really like this director. I might be butchering his name, um, but I'm a big fan of his films. His name's Derek C. in France. Um, some people say Sean Frost. Or, but he did this movie called Blue Valentine and I saw it when I was in college and it kind of, for me, it was like one of those, you know, those things that you, um, you know, you see one of those movies you see and it changes like things for you, right? So, for me, after I saw that, I was like, oh wow, that's sick. That's, that's like, that was really good acting. Like, I'd like to do something like that. You know, like, it was like a raw, gritty kind of, um, he makes raw, gritty films that are, you know, very up in your face. They're more dramas, but, you know, it's, I gotta say, it's been nice coming to work and, and laughing all day instead of crying all day. <laughs> uh, you know what my weirdest experience is, actually? I'll probably put my foot in my mouth. I'd say probably when I did it, I did a nude scene one time in a play. That was weird as hell. Cause I was like naked on stage and like, it was just And then afterwards people were like, hey man, saw your play, like fucking awesome. Like so sick, man. He's like, dude, like I saw you like your dick, dude. Like that was crazy. Like, like you were like naked and like your dick was there and like your balls were too. And I was like, yeah, like, yeah man, like I was naked. Like, that's like what happens, and so that was weird. That was weird. That was weird. Like talking to people about like my penis after the play, like having conversations with these people I like don't even know that well. Like, but, oh yeah, like my penis was in the play. And, yeah, it's like yeah. probably that. That was bizarre. That's fucking weird. <laughs> yeah, I liked Shit's Creek though. I thought that was really funny. Uh, I thought the actors were really good on that, and I liked the writing and kind of like stuff that's a bit fucked up, you know? Like so. I felt like that was like a fucked up show. I like that, you know? Like with comedy, I guess. I like comedy that's kind of like, kind of ridiculous. We're like, holy shit, like are we allowed to say this? Or, you know, like is this too much swearing? Or is this too much of this? Or too much that? Because I feel like comedy sh kind of should sometimes be like too much. It should be like an overflow, right? And oh, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll click these like links and shit here, okay? Like there's like some buttons here and stuff. Click, click that guy. Click that guy, 
Whatever you want to do, just click away, baby, and enjoy this ride. CBC the knife. And also, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Smash that shit, baby. Smash that subscribe. Woohoo! Woohoo!